you. So you know, this story is about a boy named Peter. And Peter's not one to sit at home. No, he wants to be outside. He wants to go in the meadow. He wants to be with his animal friends and see what they can do. But Grandfather knows that it's a dangerous place for him. And it is. And you'll see why as we play. So each of our instruments kind of represent a different person or a different animal. So we're going to don our little hats. And you can see we've got a grandfather, we've got a cat, and a wolf, and a bird, and of course a duck, and Peter himself. So we're going to invite Carol Harrison to come and she's going to narrate for us while we tell the story of Peter and the wolf. Listen for each of the animals and see what they do.
one branch and the bird on another, not too close. And then again, rocks around the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. In the meantime, Peter, without fear, stood behind the gate, watching carefully. He ran hard and took a strong rope and climbed a high stone one of the branches of the tree around which the boy was walking stretched over the Peter climbed the tree while the bird flew around and around, distracted. Peter made a